good morning to you. Mother Mary, guide me. Jesus, you take over. Those are the prayers in Father DeLindo's Rosary of Surrender, Rosary of Abandonment. I remember being at the silent retreat last year in February, a Franciscan retreat. And I say silent, and there clearly was a lot of talking. <laughs> Once a day, we'd have a meeting with the spiritual director, just one-on-one. And then every couple of days, I believe it was, we'd have a meeting with a small group. And I remember this gentleman in my small group asking our spiritual director, Father Kevin, about abandonment. And I thought he was talking about like, you know, fear of your mom leaving you or your husband leaving you, not abandoning yourself to Jesus, to this love. And I remember not even listening good <laughs> to the point to where like a, maybe a month or two ago, I wrote Father Kevin and I'm like, what were y'all talking about? Abandonment. And he gave me a couple of book recommendations and I'll link what he sent to me too in the show notes, which I bought and haven't read yet, but maybe we'll read it together. Close that body's eyes and take on the posture of abandonment. I'm not going to tell you what that posture looks like, what it feels like. If you must ask Jesus to show you, ask God, ask love. I'll give you a hint. If you say only love is here, that'll help you. Abandon yourself. Sasha Ladon says, I know you've come to the end of yourself. I know you have fallen somewhere between tired and exhausted, delivered, yet depressed, purposed, but unproductive. The dawn of a new year doesn't motivate you. Instead, it leaves a bitter taste of disappointment, reminding you of all the promises that are still residing over your head that have yet to fall, full clouds hovering over dry ground. Is the life you want actually meant for you? Is it time to settle? Not yet. The overflow is meant for you. The vision is still coming. Hold on. One minute you don't have. The next minute your cup is overflowing. God's grace, that's sardine bread. Let only love is here. Fill your heart to overflowing. Every one of you that messaged me, about things that you need to let go of. I said I had the same response. Whenever you're thinking about that thing, that person, that situation, pivot. And here inside, only love is here. And you can say it rhythmically, like in my mind, when things get heavy, when there's a lot of chaos, inner and outer, I say, only love is here, only love is here, only love is here, only love is here, where there's no gaps for thoughts to slide up in between. <laughs> only love is here, only love is here. And then I can breathe in that silence. It seems to create, but it's just taking me by the hand and showing me, look around. Yes, there may be thoughts present, but silence is everywhere. God is everywhere. Jesus is here. Stop. And at other times, like when I'm at church and mass, I just hear it inside every now and then, as if to re engage or reactivate that silence. Only love is here. And it's not just the words, remember, it's the feeling that they point to, that I stay in, it feeds me until there's no me. Jesus is saying, remember that I am the deliverer of all who put their hope in me. That apart from me, there is no help that can do much, no counsel that can be taken with profit, no remedy whose effects can last. But now, when the storm is over and you can breathe freely again, recruit your strength in the light of my mercies, for I am near, I, the Lord, to restore all things not only to their former perfection, but to pile them high and make them overflow with added graces. It's from The Imitation of Christ. I highly recommend that book. I wrote a book. God wrote a book through me. Actually, in the acknowledgments, I say I'm not an author. I'm not a podcaster. I'm a good listener, a God listener. I'm a servant. And I showed up every day earlier this year. Remember, I took a hiatus and I've never done that, like for an extended period of time like that. I showed up 
and I, I lived on apples and cappuccino. And it was, if I gave you all the details of how the book came to be, you wouldn't even believe me. Like, just starting with the fact that a, an executive at HarperCollins was a Patreon, an avid listener of Good Mornings with Curly Nikki, and I didn't know for years. And after the book started to unfold in me, I was inspired to message them. And the rest is history. It's presently available for pre-order. It's called Wake Up to Love. And it contains 52 devotionals, just like this, but written <laughs> so that you can hold on to them and highlight it and return to it and share it. And those 52 are divided into sections, finding love, sustaining love, being love, and spreading love. I need your help spreading this love. We get the attention of the publishing world of the world with pre-orders. And so that's why I'm asking you to get your copy now, to get your friend a copy now, to get your mom a copy now. And if you get a copy now and you send me the receipt, and I'll put all of this in the show notes, you'll receive five downloads, one a PDF file with a lot of information about the rosary and how I pray it, but also about three other practices, the secret rosary, my secret rosary that I pray, the surrender rosary or the rosary of abandonment that Father Delindo taught and the emergency novena, the memorare. And so I recorded each of these so that you can listen to them in the background because the prayers are powerful, even if you're not sitting and praying them. Or you can learn these prayers and pray along with me. And eventually you can pray them by yourself without the recordings. But this is what I wish I would have had when I started this practice. And before I continue, I want to remind you that even though these are the free gifts, this very Christ-centered practice, it's the love that matters. So if you're still chanting something else, if your mantra comes from a different tradition, keep doing that. But make sure you're feeling love while you're doing that. The mantras, the names, the prayers, that repetition is happening to keep the mind occupied. You distract yourself <laughs> so that this love can work and you just hear. And so whether you're chanting Hare Krishna or Lord Jesus Christ, have a mercy on me or Jesus, you take over. You're just hearing those words and not also, I need to do this. I'm worried about that. I pray they get healed. You let that go without letting go. That's the paradox. You can't really let go of anything. All you can do is hold on to him, hold on to this love, and everything lets go of you. It all falls away from you. And that's what I try to do with those practices that I'll share with you, but also what we practice every single day right here, every morning. That's all that book is. It's a big book of surrender, how to let go. Every devotional, every chapter, every practice. And these are simple practices. They look so simple. Like you're like, how could they possibly work? But they do. I've been doing them for many, many years. And I've helped other people for many, many years. They work. And they're all in one place. Once you send me the receipt and you receive your downloads, you'll also be entered to win a one-on-one -on -one meditation with me. I'll fly to you. And we'll have lunch, we'll have chai, we'll chat, we'll meditate, we'll practice surrendering together, we'll pray together in your town, at your favorite restaurant, your favorite spot, which is here. <laughs> it will appear in the awareness here. So I ask you, please, to support this book, to spread the word on social media, to your networks, to your group chats. It is every bit as inspired as this daily show is it's your book it's not even it's not my book it's your book you wrote it you called it in pray with me the prayer of abandonment just two decades which means 20 prayers we'll start with jesus you take over and then we'll pray the glory be which is my favorite prayer. My mom, whenever I pray with her, the rosary, she always teases me like she peeks one eye open and she's like, you really like this prayer, don't you? Also, Mother Mary, when she appears to people around the world, giving them the rosary, instructing them to pray, 
that's the only prayer she prays. She doesn't pray the Hail Mary. She doesn't pray the Our Father. They do. The, the kids do or the adults that are witnessing her, they do. But she prays with them the glory be. And I'll put the glory be in the show notes. And of course, that all of this will be included in those downloads that you'll get when you pre-order the book. And then we'll pray 10 times, Mother Mary, guide me. And then you'll take that guidance into your day today. You'll take this spirit of abandonment, the spirit of peace, which is the spirit of God into your day today. Your heart will overflow. Only love is here today. No matter what you see, no matter what you hear in that head or outside of that head, only love is there. Only Jesus is there. Take that as a mantra when you're looking at that person, at that thing. I did that at church at mass yesterday, waiting on communion. And I was looking from person to person. Only Jesus is there, which we know means here. But the mind and the way it sees, it helps. Only Jesus is there. Only Jesus is there. Do that on your Zoom call today with all the little boxes, only Jesus is there. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, you take over. 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 Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mother Mary, guide me. 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 Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My book starts with the words from the Book of Love, Wake Up and Learn, of the three things as one, and the one as three. And then I say this isn't a book, you are not a person, here is not here, this is not now, this is love, and you are that. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Did you like that heartbeat I put at the end of yesterday's? Was it corny? I enjoyed it. I was hoping I'd hear from somebody that said they liked it. Also, we're going to do another nine day novena, surrender novena starting Monday, back by popular demand number four. (laughs) I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, and leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift and follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.